So this is my grandpa, Don, Donald Eugene Kasner, and my grandma, Darla. She's the one receiving the ring for Mother's Day. And they um, met in Ohio, and my grandpa was actually late for their first date. He'd had a family member pass away and had been at the funeral and didn't tell her about it, but he just showed up at, at her door much later than was deemed appropriate, especially during that time. And he was like, explain the situation. She was really gracious. And so they went on a first date. And on the first date, he ended up telling her that he loved her. And she was in shock. And it actually made her mad. Um, Grandma Darla is a feisty one. But she told him that if he ever said that again, he better be ready to marry her. And uh, so they got married. And I had my dad. And then my dad had me. <laughs> This is one of my favorite pictures of my grandpa. He uh, could be a total goofball. He had his tongue out. He liked to mess up as many pictures as he could. Um, but I'd like to think that I get my sense of humor from him. And if you want to ask the guys in the shop, they'd probably say I'm pretty funny. So, <laughs> yeah. I was, so I was the first grandbaby in the family. So I think I always had a really special place in my grandpa's heart, but my love for woodworking actually came from him. I used to sit in the shop and watch him woodwork and watch him just piddle around and he'd tell me stories. Grandpa was a great storyteller. Sometimes a little long-winded though. He could talk and talk and talk. Some would say like me, but uh, he, he could tell you the innermost workings of a microwave, so you had to be careful what you said around him because if you asked a question, you had to be in for the long haul of an answer. Grandpa was a big fan of NASCAR. He was always so fun to take to the races, but I usually fell asleep 